It's me again, Madam Shukran from Educare Institute. And we are proceeding with Form 4 Nectar Solving. And for today's session, we'll have a discussion on Nectar 2020 Solving question number 10. It is English language. And the question reads, Use two poems to show how poets use poetic devices to deliver their message to our society. Give three poetic devices from each poem. I repeat, use two poems to show how poets use poetic devices to deliver their message to our society. Give three po poetic devices from each poem. Kwenye nature ya hili swali au kwenye swali hili, the candidates were required to give, were required to, to recognize about poetic devices, kutambua poetic devices nini. In, uh, in other names, we can call it literary devices or figures of speech. It for they falls um under the same they mean the same but different words can be used to to mean poetic devices. So let us have a look on parts of this essay. It is an essay question, so it have three parts which are introduction, main board, and conclusion. So in introductory part, we'll have a look on the definition of poetic devices or literary devices or these figures of speech. Then we'll have its types or categories because we have a, several categories and some examples. There are some examples of these poetic devices. In main board, we'll have a look on the specifically on the poetic devices which have been used in these two poems and in conclusion we we, we are concluding by giving the what should be done maybe in order to give a good way of presenting our messages to the society so by starting let us have a look on key terms this is in an introductory part poet let us know the poet who is poet poet is the one who composed a poem so the poet is the one who composed a poem for example william shakespeare and crowd Mackay, majori mcgoy so these are the uh, examples of poets or the ones who com compose and compose the poems. So when we say poetic devices, a form of literary devices used in poem to deliver the message. These are form of, po of literary devices. Mean that poetic devices, this falls under the literary work. Hii ni kazi, ipo kwanza kwenye kazi ya fasihi. Na kazi ya fasihi, we say that literary works uses, changes, or converts the ordinary language to foreign language or to literary language. So, ile lugha amba utunaitumia katika everyday life or everyday communication, it is changed to literary language inabadilishwa kwenda katika fasihi au lugha ya kifasihi so we have some categories of poetic devices we have musical devices structural devices sound devices we have musical structural and sound devices and among of examples we have onomatopoeia simile, metaphor, personification, alliteration, consonance, and assonance. There are so many, but by mentioning few, these are some examples of these poetic 
devices or literary devices. So in answering this question, we have what, what the poem has been used in answering this question are Freedom Song by Majori Magoe and Eat More by Jory Corey. By starting with Freedom Song, the first poetic device which used is the use of alliteration. The use of alliteration. Alliteration is the repetition of the first letter or sound at the beginning of closely words. It is useful in creating effect to readers and help them to pay attention to the poet. So here from, from alliteration, from Freedom Song, in Freedom Song we can see that the poet have been used the alliteration, which is the repetition of the same letter or same sound at the beginning of closely words. So the aim of using alliteration, it is to create that attention to the readers who are reading the literary work or who are reading the poem to keep to to keep attention to what is going to what is read so for example in the poem we can observe this when the persona says pay part union fee at yellow needs no pay 50 50 it may live here this this dots three dots indicate that there are words which, which are are left behind when we get this this what this alliteration there are some words which we left here but this is not the end of this poem so we can see that the first is pay part union fee p and p have been repeated which in the words which are very closely Closer or which are closely, closely words. So it this indicates alliteration. Or here in this second line, atieno needs no pay. This any and n here have been repeated. So this is what we say it is alliteration. And another one is fifty fifty. It may live. This f have been repeated. Have, have been repeated in this closely words. So through alliteration, it gives the message to the society. For example, 50-50, it may live, means that the persona is not sure if the child will live or not. Here, we can see that it was after, after Atieno being pregnant. Kazikaili Shairi, tunamuna kwamba Atieno amekua na ujauzito baada ya miaka mingi kuishi kwa mjomba wake because the persona is her uncle so she used this several years in her uncle's residence ambapo kadri siku zilivyokuwa zinaenda alianza kutamani shule lakini shule ikashindikana kwa hiyo akajikuta amejiingiza kwenye makundi ambayo sio mazuri mpaka akapata ujauzito so baada ya kupata ujauzito katika kujifungua kwamba uncle he's not sure if the child is going to survive or not so it is 50 50 so when you see 50 50 means that no sure of so he was also able to use no sure if it may live but he used the 50 50. another poetic device which have been used is the use of refrain we say that refrain is the repetition of the last line at the end of every stanza in the poem. In a freedom song, the poem is structured in such a way that it ends with atieno yo in every stanza. So here we see we say we see that atieno yo is repeated in several stanzas all, all over the poem. The poet have been this have structured the poem in such a way that atieno yo is the last line in every stanza 
So the message delivered is about the children who are oppressed and they need for freedom. So the person tries to keep on emphasizing on these children, their needs. What they what do they need? Atieno, what kitu gani ambacho naitaji? Atieno, she's the an example of 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 children who suffers from child labor and oppression. Watoto wengi wanaonekana ku kuingia katika kundi la kutumikishwa au kufanya kazi wakiwa bado wadogo you may find that a child aged aged 12 she's a house girl somewhere or she's a she's doing a work which is not which she was not supposed to do nakuta mtoto ni mdogo lakini anafanya kazi amekuwa house girl ana miaka 10 12 anafanya kazi ambazo hastahili kuzifanya but because of the family maybe family problem or economic problem she is doing that work so it shows that these children needs freedom needs to be empowered in order to get their rights but there is no room for them to get their rights for example at yeno She is among of these girls or children who suffers from oppression kutumikishwa kazi lakini hawapati uhuru wa kufanya kile kitu ambacho walitakiwa kufanya hawapati uhuru wa kupata elimu kama watoto wengine walivyo lakini alipaswa kwa umri wake aweze kupata elimu so this is among of message which is derived from the use of poetic devices thirdly It the use of rhetorical question rhetorical question used to create a certain effect to the society such as lessons or give messages it its aim is not to get answers so rhetorical question it's a some it, that kind of question which is not in the aim of getting answers yani kwamba ni swali ambalo linaulizwa sio kwa lengo la kupata majibu ila ni kwa lengo tu la kupeleka message fulani au kufikisha ujumbe fulani for example in the poem when the persona says who will teach her what is right aren't you grateful at yeno yo from this quotation it is seen that the persona is asking the question who will teach her what is right nani atamfundisha kitu kizuri au tabia njema Hauna shukrani atieno yani kwamba ni kama anauliza swali to the society or to the majority to answer but not the aim or the intention of this question it gives the message it seems that the parents or the caregivers or these ones who we call them guardians are hypocrites they te- they they seems to be good to these children kwa mfano mtoto ambaye anafanya kazi ni house girl mahali fulani wale wanaokaa naye wanaonekana kuwa wanamjali kwa sababu wanampa fedha maybe watampa chakula maybe watampa sehemu ya kulala lakini bado wanamtumikisha Ata, at, itambidi kuamka saa kumi na moja maybe in some families aya atafanya majukumu kwa mfano kulisha ngombe, kukata majani, atadeki, atakatia maua, atafanya na kazi zingine, atapeleka watoto shule na bado atapika na kufua. So it seems that they are good people to these children but not the not the not true because these children suffer from their oppression. So we can see that Atieno's uncle he is hypocrite it has been used to show somehow show somehow some adults are hypocrite and they oppress children since they are not their years so huyu ni uncle kwa sababu mtoto so wake anamtumikisha anavyotaka lakini anamwambia we haushukuru maybe because she lives under his residence labda kwa sababu anaishi nyumbani kwake ndio maana anamuona kwamba hana shukrani but not true but because she deserved to get education she deserved to have a rest to have a good care from the parents 
so it's how it has been used to show to send the message to the society so we are proceeding with the part b of this question which we are going to see in it more what poetic devices have been used to send the message to the society firstly the use of alliteration so in this poem also have been used the alliteration which we said that it the use in the repetition of the same letter or sound at the beginning of the closely words so the persona has repeated the sound to show on how some leaders are hypocrite to their people by encouraging them to eat something they cannot afford this can be seen when the persona says more fish more beef more bread this m have been repeated in these words more more M have been repeated ambayo tulisema kwamba alliteration ni kule kurudia au kujirudia kwa sauti au herufi mwanzoni mwa maneno ambayo yanafuatana tunasema so ameitumia kama msistizo the way readers encouraging the majority to use something which they cannot afford wanawaambia kwamba kuleni sana nyama kuleni sana matunda but the majority have no accessibility to what they are they are leaders tell them to use or to eat so the persona give the message to the society about being aware of these leaders but that there are some leaders who are not interested in their their interests but they are interested in their personal gains not their public gains uh, secondly the use of imagery as we know that imagery is the mental picture created in the mind of the leader or listener from the literary work kwa hiyo unaposoma imagery inajitokeza kwamba unapata unapata picha katika akili yako unapata picha katika akili yako unaona kwamba kwa mfano mtu anakusimulia kuhusu chakula au for example from this poem it's more it more fruits it's more fish unajaribu kufikiria au kuchukua picha ya wale samaki au wa, ya matunda au nyama ambazo zinatamanisha but you have no accessibility to that to that thing so from the poem we say that imagery is the device that create mental picture in the mind of the leader how the persona uses words create picture and make the persona re the reader feels as how the persona feels for example when talking about fish fruits beef and bread create imagination but comes to bloody glass it shows seriousness of the issue to the people so from this poem imagery have been used to show on how this problem or how this issue is very serious to the society the people are not happy they are not happy with the situation they are facing so it it create serious mood in their hearts in their lives they see that these leaders are not are not good people they are hypocrite because we can't afford these things when you say about fish when you say about meat I cannot afford what I know is blood grass they can no, okay, they can only afford blood grass and not these kind of things or kind of foods so it shows that the issue is very serious and it is, it is a serious problem to the majority of society members thirdly the use of repetition we say it the device used to show seriousness of the matter or emphasis to what is discussed kurudia rudia unaporudia rudia hii inaonyesha kwamba hichi kitu kipo serious au kuonyesha msistizo wa jambo so in the poem it have been used to show hypocritical leaders who feed their own stomachs while majority of why majority of people have nothing to eat with no employment this can be seen when the persona says more fish more beef more bread so here we see that the 
repetition have been used to show how the leaders insist about using this kind of of foods or nutritious food in order to get in order their bodies to get better or their health to be to get better but what makes the but it, it what makes the majority member to suffer or to get in sad mood because of the uh, of the of these leaders who are hypocrites they they use they are used to tell their members to use something which they have no accessibility so they feed their own stomachs but the the slogans speaks something which is not true so it is like ironically the slogan and what is going on in the, in that particular society so let us have uh, related questions to this question first one it is nectar 2021 question number 10 another question it leads poets or poetess use literary devices in order to deliver a certain message to the society choose two poems and give three points per each another question use two poems of your choice to show how poets deliver the message to the society by using literary devices three points per each poem um, another question Poetic devices provide lessons to the society. Argue with the statements by giving three points from two poems of your choice. Another one, poet, poetic devices are very essential in giving messages to the society. Argue with the statement by giving three points from two poems of your choice. So from this question, the the answers are required to be those poetic devices then the message you will put in in that point if it is maybe it is a uh, chadi labor we put the, the poetic devices which indicate which is very related to chadi labor or to that message then in that in explanation we give the quotation we give the meaning then the message we put it there in order to make the the point understood or give the real information or the full information which you are required to put there so in summary we can say that we have discussed the, about the poetic devices in two poems a freedom song and eat more which we whether we got three points per each poem in freedom song we had alliteration refrain and rhetorical speech where in it more we have a imaginary repetition and the alliter alliteration so we can say that katika maswali haya poetic devices unaweza kukutana na swali linaulizia au linauliza about literary devices au linaulizia about figures of speech never confuse these thing, things when we say literary devices when we say poetic devices when we say figures of speech are put in the same position but it depends on the nature of question and on how you are going to tackle the question so from that point it marks the end of today's session and welcome to another session we'll proceed with another questions thank you Thank you.